everyone, it's Karen in the Lake Stamper here in Grand Blank, and I had a great idea. Let's use some leftovers, just like your turkey leftovers. We have Christmas card leftovers that maybe we didn't want to make something all the way, but we still didn't want to throw it away either, right? So what I thought we could do is I had a gingerbread uh, fourfold, okay? And what I did is I deconstructed my fourfold. So <clears throat> you would have seen this, and I'll have the link listed below, and I will show you how to make a fourfold uh, in one of my videos. But what you can do is take that fourfold off, cut them all, okay? And now you've got four cards instead of just one. Isn't that cool? So what we wanted to do first was take all these off. Okay, I cut them all. This was one card, and I'm gonna make four. I know, it's, it's like leftovers. So, we're in a hurry. We've got some extra cards to make. We forgot about somebody. Oh my God, you know how that is. And we have to do something quickly. So, I also have the wonderful snowflakes. Now, if you are don't have these and you so desire and you wanna do the gingerbread, you can die cut all of them to your heart's content, which is great. But why if you don't have to? <laughs> so I didn't want to die cut everything in his mother, right? So these come in sheets, which are, which are really nice. Um, all you do is just take them off and they are just lovely, okay? Um, put some little bit of glue on them and you're good to go. And they have a little bit of an iridescent look to them, okay? So I've got some already started on here. Um, and what I did is I already glued them down on a 6x4 because I have the Memory More card pack. And all you ladies that ordered my gingerbread kit, I know you have extra, extra Memory More cards, card pack to use. So don't waste these, okay? We still have time to make Christmas cards. So um, I'm going to take these beautiful snowflakes, all right? And I, I, I really just positioned them. Uh, so they would equal and they would look kind of nice and they would fill up the six by four and you don't need to see that because you know how to do that just uh, placing uh, the snowflakes is so simple now what I would like to do though is just take you know you'll see that some of them are, are going off the the card right so what we want to do is we want to just take it and we want to save this guy because we're going to use them and then we're going to take this guy here we're just gonna cut them down, super, and we're gonna use these guys, all right? And then there's one more. This is a great way to use up all your cardstock, use up your Memory MR card pack, still make some beautiful cards, and, you know, making four cards out of one fourfold is amazing. Okay, in fact, I even say that in the last video of the gingerbread, you can make four cars out of this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So now we've got leftover snowflakes here. So let's see if we can't just put one. Oh gosh, there's so many fun areas we could put this on. Let's put this one over here. Okay, whoops, let's just put it this way. Whoopsie. See, look how nice that looks already. Look at that. That looks great there. And then this little guy here is going to go this way, all right? And I'm just gonna let him again fall right off the card base. Whoops, this is, let's go this way because it looks like the glue is on this side. And there we go. Oh, nice. In fact, I'll add a little bit more glue on that one. I've got a little bit, little baby one here, so I'm just gonna put this to the side for just one little minute and use my little handy dandy Tombows. Aren't these the cutest little Tombows ever? I love these, they're so much better than the other Tombows. They must be the new generation or something. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so let's just put this one without moving that, there we go, let's move him down there we go see how nice that looks covers it up and 
and then we're going to just cut the rest of that off and we'll be done. Just a little bit of glue, just a tad right here. Now, this is amazing. It's all, you know, it, you could just add one little snowflake on here, put a greeting on here, and you're good to go. All right. So we're just going to cut this leftover off. We've got one little area right here. Look how nice this is. Look at this. Easy. Didn't take but two seconds. Now we're going to take this guy, all right, and we're going to try to put him right here. All right, and we are, and we've got him done. Oh my gosh, look at that. So just a little bit of glue. Never, never throw these away once you cut them off because you can put them anywhere, right? So um, I'm going to, oops, let's put it this way. All right, there we go. Oh, that looks great. All right, a little bit of glue here just to make sure he sits tight. And a little bit of glue on this one. And this one. Now we can use this guy, all right? And then just trim off any extras that you see that you don't like. Um, now you've got all of these beautiful snowflakes and they can go right smack on here. And that, that's a card. But what if, I know, it's an idea, what if I used one of my four folds? I know, I could use this little guy. Or I could just use ribbon, right? Just use a little ribbon, put a little die cut on there, call it a day, or, <laughs> or put this little guy, wait, wait, wait for it, because, I mean, we did all this work, we may as well show, show it off. Oh my God, maybe that might be simple, right? This could go on the inside. O-M-G. And then I've got, look at how many things I've already got die cut and ready to go. So, you know, don't waste these guys. Use them, um, okay? So this is, this is a great idea. This takes two seconds. You put it together. You've got a gorgeous little card. So we were deciding whether to let the snowflakes speak for themselves or I've got these extras. So I'm thinking I want a sentiment up here and I've already done it. So like we said, we're deconstructing. So here's this one guy, right? Uh, again, you could just do the snowflakes, which are so cute, and then put one little guy here and you're done. But if you're deconstructing like I am and you've got Christmas cards that you kind of liked but you weren't sure, and maybe they might be different on a whole different card, <laughs> then this is for you, okay? Um, because I think that um, this is a great idea to not throw away all of our hard work, right? And sometimes, you know, our work goes, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> What was I thinking on that last one? Uh, whose idea was that? So I am going to put some, this is gonna be easy guys, we're gonna be on the next one in no, in no time. Let me put some dimensions on this and I'll be right back. All right, now I've got my dimensions on. I'm gonna center this, it's already been matted. I don't wanna mat too much. I really do want some of my snowflakes to show off, right? And, um, that still makes a dynamite centerpiece card. Um, and then look, look how cute this is. So if you have these envelopes, I love these envelopes. And I, I think I'm, you know, this is during that retirement sale. These are retiring. I'm buying more because I'm going to use them for next year. Because who's going to know, right? Because I'm going to put this right on top with a different one. And oh my gosh, we got a whole different de deconstructing for next year. So stay tuned. <laughs> so that was a good segue, don't you think? Okay. Now we could pop this up. All right. Uh, I think I might pop this up or we could do flat. It's up to you guys. The only thing about craft paper sometimes, oh no, this is not craft paper. Excuse me. This is um, cinnamon cider I'm using. So this would be, I, I'm going to pop it up. So again, 
let me pop this up and again what will I I'll be right back <laughs> all right so I did the honors of already putting it on after putting my dimensionals on so I got that already done for us and oh my gosh that looks so pretty doesn't it so pretty and then inside nice and simple and then a little a little tiny sentiment right inside oh my gosh how simple is that so we'll just glue this right in there and I can put the sentiment on later because it depends on who I sent it to, right? <laughs> but I've got extra die cuts here so I may as well use these up, right? I thought the gingerbread, uh, this whole suite was lovely. Um, I bought everything. I love it. I think it's darling and um, I hope you guys uh, pick it up because it's 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 really a darling darling little set and um, you can't go wrong with it and and then again I'm gonna put a little sentiment there I'm gonna add a cute oh how cute is that and then I've got one card that I deconstructed already see how pretty that is oh my gosh Finish this card absolutely stunning love it now we're going to move to an A2 size card all right real red uh, Easy to do. We're going to use um, basic white for five and a quarter times four. We're going to put that right there. We're going to get our gingerbread, okay, our leftovers of our gingerbread. We've got two little mats, okay, two times five and a quarter, and then one and three quarters times five, all right? So we're going to put those on top of each other. I like this side, so I want this to be the front. Notice that they're both the same, so it's nice when they're six by six love just a little helpful hint I know right okay so let's do before I do this little guy let's do oh I've got some uh, never mind I've got an even better idea um, so we're gonna just glue this down I know I've come up with all these little leftover great ideas it's kind of like your Thanksgiving dinner, okay? You had leftovers, you're done, you've eaten them all, right? Now we're going to do leftovers, but we're gonna make them look brand new, and that's the whole idea. So, okay, so we've got our Christmas paper right here. Isn't that pretty? So far, you've done this, you've done this one before with me. I know you have. I know you have because I've done it. <laughs> So I'm going to get my dimensions and I'll be right back. Okay, now we've got the dimensionals on, yay. We're gonna put this one here, super, love. Okay, on dimensionals, I love it. Love this one too. I think I've got one more that doesn't have, oh, yep, okay. Look at that. Now, if you had just wanted to do this card and you just wanted to put a little saying on that, that would be perfect. There's no problem with that. But, I'm just saying, <laughs> I've got this beautiful deconstructing that I'm doing. So, I could do this one right there. Oh my God, I love it. So love it. OMG. All right, so we have these two done. <laughs> now let's do a real easy one, okay? Real easy. We're going to get an A2 size, okay? Just a simple A2 size card. Uh, five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then fold, and then bam. And then this was our biggest little guy on our wonderful um, uh, fourfold card grouping. Okay, this was the last one. So if you had cut all these up, this would have been your last one, and it fits lovely with all the mats on an A2 size card. So what I did is I just uh, stuck, some, stuck, some, stuck some glue. In fact, we could put a little bit more on here. It looks like I just kind of, kind of just gave it a little, rough draft to see if I liked it and I do so let's put some more on there and oh my gosh this is in a hurry look at this and bam 
You know, when you need to take your fourfold grouping and deconstruct it and make four more cards because, you know, maybe you have to go to a, an open house or you've got a Christmas party and you want to maybe put it with a bottle of wine or something like that. This is the idea. This is this is going to work. Now, I have extra little little guys like this and I've got my extra die cuts and I've got some really cute little bulbs and see I've got so many extra so that's why you know it's so important to use everything right um, and one of my extras oh see look at that how cute is that <laughs> I mean I can't keep these forever you know all of us want to keep stuff you know so I have these little guys that we punched out and they are so cute they're little candies and what we can do is just put a few on we don't have to put a whole bunch use your pick a tool all right which is lovely and let's get some you can use your small mini uh, dimensionals if you have them or these will be just fine okay um, they'll, they'll work too so let's just uh, put a few of these and pop them up which won't take but a second okay and um, I just think they look so cute you know kind of circling wherever you want to put them you know it gives a little pop up it is the very first part of the card that you see so I always like to make my my presentation card or the the base the the most important <laughs> with all the jewels right <laughs> So let's just put, I usually put about three, you know, it's, a, it's up to you. You could put three or five, just do, an, just do an uneven number. Okay, so isn't that pretty? Put this right on top of the card. Look at that. I mean, we're done. <laughs> and then, of course, a nice little, a nice little um, you know, whatever sentiment that goes with the year of the icing, you know, or... Or use something from your memory more card pack, your sugar and spice, and everything nice right in here. Okay, um, I'm going to use uh, probably this little guy right here to go in here. Okay, and oh my god, that's so cute. You're the icing to my gingerbread, your sugar and spice, and everything nice. This would be great if I had a date, you know? I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I might have to keep this card for next year. Maybe I'll have a... <laughs> Just saying. I mean, I, after I'm reading that, you're, you're the icing to my gingerbread. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, Karen. Needs a date. All right. Super. All right. So my last card... <laughs> so my last card is going back to your memory and more card envelope pack. All right. That has the envelopes and it has these I love these I love these um, just fold it nice and easy um, and now our last but not least is we're going to use these last two all right now these were part of my uh, these were part of my fourfold and you'll notice they are the same size they're using craft paper you'll notice craft paper does send, have a tendency to kind of bow and curl up a little bit so the better the glue the more the glue you have yay for you <laughs> we're gonna use this six by four okay uh, I don't need any more of these I've got a whole bunch of them die cut out um, and we're just going to glue this right down and you'll notice we already have our mats so we're you, you know we're done and we can get these out in the mail today maybe uh, so, um, in fact, I'm going to the post office. Christmas cards are being mailed out. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I know, no pressure. Um, okay, so let me uh, put some dimensionals in this, and I'll be right back. All right, I have my dimensionals on. We're all set. This is a 6x4 because this is a 6x4 card. And I'm just covering up the, the front. Using up my cardstock from my gingerbread. Love my little gingerbread. This is my cute little frosted gingerbread that's retiring. So if you want this, you should get it. 
it's going to retire. I love it. I just love it. I love everything about it. I even love the little gingerbread stuff. I'm going to buy more. <laughs> I hate when they retire stuff. You know, don't retire it. I, I still like it. <laughs> so I'm thinking of putting this one uh, right here in the middle. Okay, and we'll put the last one in. Okay, I got my dimensionals on. Yay. And now, let's double check. Yep. We're just going to pop this right in the middle. That's all we're going to do. You know, give it a nice, uh, like, uh, make sure it stays kind of thing because it's with the craft paper. Craft paper is very durable. It does curl up. That's why I'd rather dimension it than glue it down. Um, it's glued on this one, which is great. I mean, I put, a, I did, I think I used glue and snail. Whatever. It, whatever it made it stay. <laughs> Okay, now, gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. And we can actually use one of the sentiments. Again, Merriest Christmas would be lovely. All right, or again, your friendship makes the season. If you've got a lot of friends, um, if you don't have a lot of friends, then maybe don't use it. <laughs> um, um, no, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> the one I'm going to use... I'm going to use this little guy. I just love this. It's happy. It makes me happy when I look at the, the beautiful paper. And I'm just going to cut this down to um, 6 by 4 So I just need to cut it once because it's already a 6 by 6 I'm just going to cut it down to 6 by 4 Just do 4 inches. Bam. Did it right there. Easy peasy. I'm going to put this in here without the... I just love these little guys. I, I just love them. I hope I get some for Christmas stockings. <laughs> uh, they're so nice. Okay, so we're going to put this little guy right in here. Look at that. Easy. Done. Okay. Look at us using the paper. Look at us using the paper. <laughs> now, um, this is the one I, you know, took off. I'm going to put this right smack in the middle. It's going to look gorge. And again, let me put some dimensionals on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my dimensionals on. We're going to center this as best as possible, right? Before I put it all the way down, let me just double check. You know, it looks, sometimes it looks like it's all centered, and then it's not, right? <laughs> so I'm just double checking. And I think I can have one maybe just a little bit over here to the side. And that looks perfect. Okay. And I just, again, I've got a lot of dimensionals on there. I want to make sure it stays. Looks pretty. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Damn. That looks good. <laughs> oh, I love mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. <laughs> Go back to our little uh, sentiments. We can do the Merry Christmas. And actually, we could stick it right here. And then you could put a note right here. All right? So that would be lovely to still write something. And, you know, uh, actually, let's put it up here. I'm liking that better, don't you think? Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then, in, like I said, inside you can write a note. Uh, you've got enough room to still do that. Sometimes we, you know, cover the whole card and there's nowhere to write a note. <laughs> so I'm guilty of that too. So um, I'm just going to, now this has sticker stuff on it already and I don't want to use that. I just want to pop it up. So instead of making it flat, I don't like it flat. Um, I pay the extra for posters, what the heck. Or if this is going to be a card that's going to be on, on a present, that's going to be just as lovely, right? Okay. So, I've got these on here, nice and easy. Boy, these dimensionals have just been so much fun. Okay, <laughs> let's put this right here. All right, love it. Okay, okay, look at that. O-M-G. Oh, I've got a couple little red ones. We could put just one more. Let me just, oh yeah, this is um, the red, right? Oh, basic jewels, look at me. Never used them. Oh. I love when I find new stuff that I've never used. <laughs> I 
love that. Okay, so let's just, I just need a couple tiny ones right up here, okay? I just want to do a little merriest of Christmas. And some of us put them in a little, in, in threes, right? There we go. Um, or, let's move this little guy. Let's just move him right off. And let's put two over here instead. Yep. It looked too full over there, didn't it? And bam. Um, okay. Okay, look at us. So four cards. Four beautiful cards to send out. Uh, and look, it's only December 4th, right? <laughs> And we deconstructed a four-fold card and made four beautiful cards, two A2 size cards, right? Um, look at that, two A2 size cards and two six by four using our memory more card envelopes pack. So I am so impressed. I am so impressed. Love this. So if you are looking for last minute cards and you have some cards that you maybe made and you didn't know if you really cared for the whole thing but you like part of the card, then deconstruct it. Cut it up and deconstruct and start making some extra cards or tags. And before you know it, you've got some more cards already set without going and starting all over again. So use what you have and I hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to do. And now I think it's time to make some cookies and gingerbread. <laughs> anyway, chat soon. Merry Christmas. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.